Okay, chances are you've heard of superheroes. Superfoods, superbugs. Yeah, I'm not talking about the creepy, crawly kind. I'm talking about the really scary, make you sick, resistant to drug kind. Superbugs. They're creepier than spiders because most spiders aren't going to kill you. But this new emerging superbug will. We're talking about CRE, and I'm gonna just call it CRE because I can't say that big word that we now have up for you on the screen. Okay, that's the medical word for you there if you wanna do a little research yourself. CRE, popping up in hospitals everywhere right now. So much so that the CDC is sounding the alarm because it's resistant to drugs. In healthcare facilities, there is a certain class of antibiotics. It's called last resort. It's just that, it's a last resort. They try everything else before they get to using these last resort antibiotics. And when these last resort antibiotics don't work, which is what they're finding with CRE, they got nothing else to try. Hence the 40% death rate that they're associating with it. It's now being found in 42 different states. In fact, it's right here in Arizona. The CDC is so concerned about it because in the last 10 years, they've seen the rate of CRE go up 550%. It's in the hospitals, it's in the long-term care facilities, it's in the nursing homes. Hasn't quite jumped yet to the general population, general community, if you will, but there's a strong fear that it will because, again, it's resistant to these antibiotics and they can't treat it so much if you get it. So why are we talking about it? Well, because you need to know what questions to ask if you or a loved one are hospitalized a lot, are on antibiotics and either need a ventilator or a catheter. This is kind of where they're seeing a lot of the CRE cases stem from. So ask that question. What are you, the doctor, or the hospital, the facility doing to prevent CRE cases? Because again, knowledge is power. You need to know what questions to ask in order to get the knowledge, in order to get the power. You need to be your own advocate when it comes to healthcare. Because just because it's called healthcare, doesn't mean it won't make you sick.